Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the currently unreleased Weenie Dynasty. This is in the Sports Classics category and it's going to cost you $450,000. Um, very expensive for the type of vehicle that it is, in my opinion. It does look really good. It does look pretty awesome. It's very old school vibe to it. Um, it is part of the drip feed content from the casino and resort DLC at the record time of recording this video it is currently unreleased like I've already said but I also said it does look really cool but then I also said it's very expensive for what it is because $450,000 is a lot <laughs> a lot of money for not much car so hopefully we can get some crazy customization options for this because I think that is a lot of money for a car of this nature you know I, I don't think this is going to be very fast I don't think it's going to be very good in the corners um, I just think it's going to be really really poor in the you know the performance side of it because just the type of vehicle that it is you know hopefully we can mod it enough maybe it'll be you can turn it into a rod I don't really know but we're going to find out. So without any further ado, let's crack on. We're going to start with 100% body armor, then race brakes, bumper, front bumper. Um, so we got a few options, uh, but we can't really change much. Unfortunately, it is just a chrome bumper, just different styles of chrome bumper, uh, which is disappointing, to say the least. I thought hope. I thought maybe we could maybe rat it out or rod it out or something man just turn it into some sort of performance vehicle um, but it looks like it's purely just going to be for old school purposes you know if maybe for the role player in GTA uh, maybe that kind of person who would buy this type of vehicle you know if you like your, your 50s style or whatever this is going to be the, or 30, you know between 30s 40s 50s style this is going to be the type of vehicle that you're going to want to buy I suppose um yeah, but we're just going to match them up. I think I got the bullet. Yeah, so we're going to get the bullet rear to match the bullet front bumper. Yeah, there we go. So we've got the bullets, bumper extensions. Nah, I don't get that. I really don't understand that. Why give us only chrome options for the bumper and then give us these sports extensions? What's all that about? If you could give us these extension options, which do look quite promising, at least give us a flat bumper. Or a color coded bumper, or a bumper delete, something like that, so we can transform the front of it. You know, with these old school chrome bumpers, these extensions just look weird, man. I don't get it. I really don't understand what Rockstar was thinking with this one. That's really fucking odd. Oh, man, it's baffled me. So if we go front bumper, let's just double check. That none of them are color coded or removed. No, they're all chrome. I don't understand why have they given us these sports additions in or sports extensions. I don't understand that. They look like shit with these chrome bumpers. Oh man, what the fuck? What was Rockstar thinking? Anyway, we're gonna move on to the level four engine upgrade. We've got the exhaust. So we've got the uh, the shell tip, which is okay, I suppose. It's got a bit more of an old school feel to it. Then we've got the jewel. We've got the race and then we've got a titanium. See again, we've got the race and the titanium. They're very sporty. So I don't understand <laughs> what the fuck they're trying to do with this car. I mean, they really contradicted themselves with this with this with this uh, vehicle in the fact that they've ki they're, they're forcing us to keep old school aspects of the car, but then they're giving us more modern sporty upgrades. But then they don't match or go with the old school additions which we're not allowed to remove what the fuck that's weird man really weird um but i am going to change it i'm going to get the dual exit that just these ones because they look like this yeah they're the same size as the stock exhaust um but obviously they're dualed up and i think that actually matches that suits the car the, you know the, the style of the car of what it is so i'm going to go with that then we've got deflectors so we've got a gt wing so the We've now got spoilers, which aren't in a spoiler category. All right. What the hell? All of them look really fucking odd as well. So we're going to skip them. I'm not going to grab any of them. 
Um, then we've got the grill, so we can old school it up even more. The actual the stock of grill, the stock of grill, <laughs> the stock grill actually looks really cool. Uh, probably going to be the the best one there as well. Roadster, what's the difference between that and the stock? There's not much difference between that and the stock, even though there is a difference. Not much difference. We've got the chrome tooth, which looks actually look really good. You know, obviously for an old school um, opinion on this, it actually looks really cool like that. We've got the bullet, and we've got the king. Um, I felt I'm going to go with the chrome tooth. That looks really sweet, actually, for, for this car. For an old school car, which this is, because we can't take away the old school aspects of this, we're going to have to turn it into an old school car. I don't get fucking why they're putting these modern sports additions on this car. It doesn't make sense. Really don't. Anyway, we've got to go to the hood. We've got the dart. We've got the vents. Um, they look alright, actually. I mean, vents on this type of vehicle were a little, a little bit out of place because this isn't a, this isn't a performance car, but... Hey ho, it is what it is. Um, the race mark one, they look all right, I suppose. Mark two looks pretty good too. Then we've got the cool air. It looks okay. It looks a little bit out of place for this type of vehicle. Um, so I ain't gonna be getting any like the the performance looking hoods because it just looks weird. Um, so I'm gonna keep the chrome theme going, I think, and just get the dart. It looks all right. It looks pretty good. Gonna skip the horn lights, headlights. Uh, we are going to get the Xeon headlights because they look crystal clear and they just look loads better. Liveries. Um, I'm not going to purchase a livery for this because why would you? Uh, but I will quickly skip through them all so you can see them. That one's actually not bad. Um, if you wanted to you know, make it look old, but then you've got all this shiny chrome and then an old paint job. So another contradiction there. It doesn't make sense. Um, but that is probably one of the best looking um, ratted liveries I've seen actually I think it actually works really nicely obviously you'd have to put a matte paint underneath it for it to dull it down so it wasn't so shiny um, but no I actually really like the look of that but it's just a shame that Rockstar have contradicted themselves again in giving us a ratted out liveries to make the car look old and worn and broken but then give us all this nice shiny chrome to go alongside with it it doesn't make any sense <laughs> So we won't be getting that today. And then we've got the flares. That looks all right, actually. You know, if you do want to go with like a, 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 you know, a sports car, racing car look for this car, I think that actually would work quite nicely. Same with the flames. So we're getting some like hot rod liveries now, but this isn't technically a hot rod. It doesn't look like a hot rod. You can't do enough to it to make it look like a hot rod. So that, you know, these liveries are again contradicted. I don't understand it. Why would you put these liveries on a box standard car? Ah, oh, man, this this car is backwards. I don't understand what Rockstar were thinking with any of this, or even putting this car in a game. Why would you put this car in a game? As I mean, like I said, it does look cool. Maybe for people that role play, like they're from the fucking thirties or the forties or whatever. Um, but in today's GTA, who actually is going to buy this? You know, unless you're you're doing some role, sort of role play. I mean, no one's going to use this as their daily in GTA. No fucking chance. No one's going to use it in a race. Because I'm I'm pretty adamant this is going to be dog shit slow. Um, yeah, but we're going we're gonna to move on. I am a little bit negative on this car at the minute. Because I don't think it looks the greatest. It's nothing unique about it. Every single thing on it at the moment has been contradicted. Um, in, in the way of its customization. So I don't really understand that um but we're gonna carry on regardless <laughs> we are gonna power through this we've got the mirrors um so we've got a few options for mirrors more options than most which is all right i suppose again nothing crazy nothing to write home about these ones are pretty good on the fender the chrome ones um <laughs> i think they might look a little bit better than the ones that are actually on the wing so I'm going to go with the Fender ones, the Chrome, Square, Fender, Mirrors. Yeah, there we go. Got it out in the end. The other ones I'm going to go with. Go skip the plate. We're going to go respray. You know what? I actually really think this color scheme I've got going on at the minute, the color it's spawned in with, actually looks really good. It does suit the car. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to gain anything from changing it. So I don't think I will. Uh, so but anyway, we're going to move on. Roof. We've got the mini rack. 
and then we've got a large roof rack. See these, what? So you can put a taxi fucking sign on the top of it. So you could turn this into a full-blown ratted taxi, but then again, you've got the ratted taxi livery, but then you've got a pristine looking taxi um, badge on the top. Like a modern day taxi. I don't get it. Contradicting it again. Rockstar, what the fuck are you doing with this car? That makes sense, man. That one actually looks quite, quite good. That one looks better though, I think, the large roof rack, because, I don't know, I think that them wood slats actually set it off a little bit nicer, so what the fuck not, we'll go grab that. But suspension, we can actually get a race suspension on this. I don't even drop it that much though, to be fair. What the fuck, I am going to drop it, why not, why the hell not. Transmission, race transmission. Turbo tuning, we've got to make it the best we can, baby. We've got visors, so we can get a green visor. We can get a meshed visor. The classic, that actually looks alright. It don't look too bad. That looks weird. It looks like it's got some like a fucking baseball cap on. Damn, they're massive, them ones. What the hell? Uh, yeah, this one was okay. The classic visor. You know, so it gives, gives you something a little bit different about it. And it's not crazy big like these ones. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what the hell not? Let's grab it. Wheels, wheel type. I'm going to go low rider. And... I think I'm going to go with, yeah, I'm going to go with a wire. They look quite cool. I think they're going to actually suit this car quite nicely and change them to alloy. And what have we got? Finish off with the light smoke window tint, even though they must not have tinted them back in the day, but why the fuck not? This is 2019, baby. We've got a modern up somewhere or another, but as we're pulling out onto the streets, it looks all right. Nothing to write home about. It is okay. It does sound actually quite nice. I think this is going to sound faster than it actually is going to be. It actually sounds really nuts. But the acceleration is non existent, mate. This is fucking shit slow. Yeah, that's really slow, man. But it's what was expected. You know, I weren't expecting this to be quick. The steering feels really heavy, and then when you commit to it too much, it just slides you out. So, um, speed's poor, steering's poor, handling's poor. It's really heavy on the steering, like I said, and when you do overcommit on it, it just spins you out. It's really slow. The customizations on it is weird and contradicted. Um, the overall look of the car from stock and you know, what I've actually done to it, I think, look okay. It's quite a nice looking motor, um, if that's the kind of thing you're into. But that's the only thing it's got going for it. It's okay looking. Um, like I said, customizations are not great. Really weird and contradicted. Uh, slow, shit in the corners. It feels really heavy. And, yeah, just feels like it wants to push out all the time. And for $450,000... This definitely ain't worth that. Not in fucking any day and age in GTA. In 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018. Definitely fucking not 2019, man. Like I said, it's okay looking. But that's all it's got going for, in my opinion. Um, if you like it, obviously grab it, pick it up, do what the fuck you want, man. It's your money, your GTA account. If that's what you like, that's what you like. Everyone's got their different opinions, but in mine... This is um, definitely going to be one for the shit pile. <laughs> um, but yeah, on that note, I think I'm going to end the video there. hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 videos, I guess. Until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.